we are space wanderers. How many of you, as children, dreamed of being an astronaut? I was one of those kids. I have always been fascinated by space. From my perspective, space contains the keys to so many fundamental questions, like where we come from and where we are going. We, human beings floating in the immensity of the universe, on this tiny speck of dust we call Earth. I'm curious about our future on Earth and in space. When I look at the sky, I would like to push a button on my watch like a superhero and deploy a backpack with a rocket belt and small thrusters. And then a powerful flight jet pack would catapult me into the sky, passing through the clouds, as if in a spaceship heading for the stars. Yeah, that was my dream as a child. I know now, as an adult, this is not the most credible dream in the world. But one thing I still strongly believe is that I would love to go to space because space looks like amazing. Let's take the example of weightlessness. I have performed two zero gravity flights and I can tell you, I will always remember my first parabolic flight in weightlessness. Flying without feeling weight, without any load on your body, offers a sensation of total freedom. Imagine opening your hand and letting go of a small ball and see it just float, motionless, is absolutely unbelievable. If someone gives you a small push with a spinning effect, you start turning around and nothing can stop you except the end of the parabolic flight. But still, you have this new superpower to fly easier than a bird. That is magic. And see, all the people moving around you effortlessly without any referential for time and space. It's like in a waking dream. Would you like to come with me and give it a try? Yeah, I can see those, yes. Now, it's not just about what you feel. It's also what you see. The view of Earth from space is beautiful beyond imagination. Thanks to the astronauts working in the International Space Station, we have enjoyed so many beautiful pictures of the Earth from orbit. For me, this is so inspiring. It should be for all of us. What if we were able to go up there together and see our beautiful planet from our own eyes? Wow. We will stay stuck, speechless with admiration. I remember having this sensation that the time stops when I watch online and see the astronauts on a spacewalk floating in space. And it's so impressive to see them orbiting our beautiful planet. I can't even imagine the level of contemplation, the feeling of fullness we would reach if we were able to experience this with our five senses. This would for sure create a new connection between us and the Earth, or Earth, our beautiful planet. In addition of this new connection, looking back to Earth has also increased our awareness about our fragility. Carl Sagan was calling our planet or pale blue dot, while giving a vision of the future human in space, while exploring the magnificent mystery of the universe. Looking back to Earth has revealed that there are many threats the Earth is facing day after day. 
typhoons, fires, tornadoes, tsunamis. And because some of us dared to explore from higher, while others, such as engineers, scientists, and researchers, multiplied their efforts to develop new technologies, to better understand the evolution of our Earth, we, human beings, we are getting smarter. We have expanded our knowledge. From the outside, we've been able to provoke an improvement from the inside. Such a journey can inspire the next generation so they can get excited and curious about space and about Earth. So they can play a part in addressing our problems creating new solutions and develop new technologies and build our collective knowledge. And maybe one day they will become space explorers themselves become, because space is for everybody. Like the life on Earth concerns everybody. Becoming an astronaut doesn't need to stay a dream. For some people, it becomes reality, so dare to dream. I'm a rocket engineer, and I can tell you, I see a huge diversity of projects every year. Several nations have their rockets, um, their modules, their spacecraft, satellites, probes, probes, rovers, orbiters, lander all kinds of experiments. Those countries develop their skills every day. Even a school can send a CubeSat into space. And it's happening today. And you are using it every day, whether you know it or not. We are all part of it. That's why I want to explore. And if I had the chance, I choose to go to Mars. Why Mars? Mars is our ancient Earth, like our planet's older sister. M Mars is a mirror of us on Earth. Three billion years ago, Mars and the Earth were very similar. Mars had an atmosphere and oceans at this time. And today, we are looking for a trace of this ancient coverage by oceans. We are looking at any sign of this past beginning of life. We have orbiters and rovers working on it to find any fair, any trace of this past life on Mars. Can you imagine what is going to happen one day when we will discover the first proof of life on Mars? This will change the course of history, our history as human beings on Earth, forever. Why this is so important? Because we need to understand how and why the oceans and the atmospheres disappeared three billion years ago, leaving it a cold desert, while somehow the Earth still has an atmosphere and most of the surface is covered by oceans. This would enable to create a database and dedicated models to predict this evolution on Earth. There won't be just some kind of hypothetical simulations with, that may have a relation to reality. They would reflect the stages in the life on the red, on the red planet and how the life disappeared. And that would tell us how to prevent this happening on Earth. This knowledge of the Martian history would definitely raise awareness with facts, data and tangible facts. 
This will make us understand where we are in the, evolu in the evolution of Earth, what is going to happen tomorrow to predict this evolution and to take measures to fight against the threats, slow down their causes and mitigate their effects, and be aware that our time on Earth is not necessarily unlimited if we are not taking good care of her. Let's take the example of climate change. Imagine how useful it would be if we were able to put on the table facts, arguments, propose mitigation, propose concrete solutions to prevent from disasters from happening on Earth. For instance, to prevent the accelerated ice melt, to protect our forests that provide, that are so important for us to provide us our oxygen, to protect our habitats and our families from the climate disruption that makes us so weak in our own environment. Deep knowledge of the climate change on Mars would empower us to predict this evolution, to counteract these effects, to preserve life and our human spaces. This effort will also have the power to unite so many people all together in a peaceful way from every country in addressing our fundamental issues on Earth and giving to all of us something optimistic to pursue. That's why I want to explore and I want to go to Mars, not to leave the Earth, but to learn how to live here and then give it as a legacy to my children and to our next generation offering the past to the future. Close your eyes. You are in the middle of space, no gravity. Nothing that constrains you in any way. Total freedom. In one direction, a small red dot. In the other, a small blue dot. One is to understand, the other is to be saved. Whichever you choose to go to, the other must be in your mind and heart. Have a nice journey. Thank you.